all over again. What about it if I am? Well, supposing the police was to come along? Let them come. The windows are all steamed up, the doors are locked. It's like a Turkish bath in here. Don't half make you thirsty. Here, watch your ring with my stockings. Move over a bit then. Oh! Get your knee off the steering wheel. I can't, I'm stuck. Here, look out, I'll do it. Oh, that hurt. I told you before to be careful where you put your legs. I was only trying to be helpful. I can help myself. Hello. They never make these cars big enough, do they? Well, you all settled in? Right, we can begin. My name is... Alfie. Alfie. I suppose you think you're going to see the bleeding titles now. Well, you're not, so you can all relax. Alfie! Here, what time did your old man say he'd be waiting for you at the station? Oh, never mind about him. That's just who I am going to mind. Never spoil a good thing. That's a thing you women can't get into your heads. Come on now, enough's as good as a feast. Oh, you soon changed your tune. Well, that horn put me off. I hate the noise at a time like that. Hey, mate. You don't forget your napkin. I won't. Do you know what I thought the first time I saw you put your handkerchief over your shoulder? What? Thought you were going to take out your fiddle and play it. Well, I come from a musical family, don't I? <laughs> Here. What? Mind you don't catch cold. Oh. <laughs> I've had a lovely time, Alfie. A married woman, see? They're every one of them in need of a good laugh. If they'll never strike their husbands. I always say, make a married woman laugh and you're halfway there with her. Of course, it don't work with a single bird. It starts you off on the wrong foot. You get one of them laughing, you won't get nothing else. <laughs> Here, just listen to it. It was dead glum when I met it tonight. I listened to all its problems, then I got it laughing. It will go home happy. Where'd you tell your husband you were going? Pictures with Olive. What pictures? Just the pictures. Now, never be vague like that. It plants suspicion. No wonder there's all this broken marriage and divorce about. It would never occur to that husband of mine that another man would want to take me out. No, I see what you mean. Here, suck this sweet city so he don't smell the gin. I don't care if he does smell it. Now, be human. You and me are having a good time. Why should we hurt him? He's done us no harm. You like to see everybody happy. Well, I don't believe in making anybody unhappy. Not if I don't have to. Or in making an enemy. You could be crossing the Sahara Desert and he'd be just a bloke you'd run into. Yeah, well, what about next week? Same time, same place? Maybe. I'll go and get me ticket. What she don't know is we won't be seeing much more of her. She's on her way out. When a married woman gets too hot on, it's time to cool off. The next thing she'll want is to introduce me to the husband. I can see it coming. Well, I'll say goodnight to you, girl. Yeah. Oh, this is a ticket for the firm's dance on Saturday. I'll treat you to it. Won't your old man be there? Yeah, I'd like you to meet. Night. 
Oh, don't forget your napkin. Yeah, well, I'm like the Boy Scouts, aren't I? Always prepared. Blimey, once I met the husband, it done half put me off the wife. I mean, he could be dying on his bed, but if I ain't met him, I won't think about him, will I? It's once you meet. Like as not, he'll turn out to be a real good sport. His sort usually are. As I'm having it off with her, I keep thinking about him hanging up his drip-dry shirts or arguing in the pub about football or cricket. You get a lot of his sort, Chelsea supporters. Hello. Had a nice time, dear. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good film? Uh, well, it was a queue, so we didn't wait. We went to a restaurant instead. Did you enjoy yourself? That's the main thing. Well, I did my best. What about you? Oh, I've been going through that garden catalogue that came this morning. It's very interesting. <laughs> hey, you should go out more often. Do you good. You come back ever so cheerful. <laughs> Made over again, you might say. Yeah. Now, I'm off to visit a little bird called Gilda. And while she ain't exactly stupid, she is a bit on the simple side. She'd never make a number one. I mean, you couldn't take her out and show her off. She ain't an exciting dresser. But she's a cracking little standby. And for another thing, she ain't a liberty taker. Most birds go mad to get hold of a bloke, and the first thing they think of is how to go about changing him, don't they? Now, I told Gilda from the start that I ain't the marrying salt. And you know what? She don't mind. She's a standby, and she knows it. And any bird that knows its place in this world can be quite content. It's you. Yeah, I'm, um, I I'm sorry for coming round so late, but, well, you know, I, I was just passing by. Yes, I see. And you know, I just finished work and, you know, I was, like, feeling a bit lonely, so I thought I'd, like, you know, pop in. Yes, I see. Uh, have I come at an awkward time? I am expecting Alfie any minute. <laughs> Of Araby. Don't you like it? No, I like everything to smell just as it is. Natural, you know what I mean? Well, I got your meal ready. Never push things at me as soon as I come in, girl. I ain't anything like that. I like to get me bearings first. Just as you like it. It's enough for that, I know. I saw that geezer Humphrey going off. Here, here. You're not having it off with him, are you? Alfie, I can't bear another man to come near me since I met you. I just wondered, did he just call to give her these chocolates, eh? No. He called to tell me he loved me. Love you? Blimey, some men are funny. Alfie, do you love me? Well, shall we say, I like you a lot. Now, uh, well, I will have that grub after all. A water bottle. She's getting a bit previous. Hello. Uh, is today the 22nd? Yeah, I think so. Shouldn't our little friend have arrived on the 19th? Oh, don't worry. He'll turn up. He always has done. He's usually so punctual. You know, Alfie, I had a really good day at the cafe today. Took over 50 pounds on the till. Isn't that wonderful? What's so wonderful about it? It's only as if it was your money. Well, I like to think of them doing well. Besides, it keeps me busy. Any time you started that fiddle I told you about, playing a piano on the till? Oh, Alfie, I couldn't. That must be the only till in London that ain't bent. Luigi and his wife, they treat me like one of the family. Well, there's all the more reason to do them. <laughs> 